Okay, everyone, this is uh, a a uh, introduction, first part video uh, in regards to this Lionel uh, number. What is it right here? Number 182 remote control crane with the uh, Cutler Hammer Magnet. Uh, so what this, where this came from, this was my dad's. I remember uh, this thing when I was a kid. Uh, he had it on, a, on his layout and I played with it a couple times. I believe this is the one from, I think it's 1949. Um, it says it's black with the gray smokestack. Um, it says Lionel Lines, Bucyrus, Erie, uh, Class 2 something, Railhead Crane. Uh, and it even has the original silver paint on the inside that was supposed to reflect the light from the light bulb. And this light bulb still works, but I won't be using it. Um, what I've done is I have rigged up, let's zoom in here, I have rigged up this LED. Uh, this is uh, one of those LEDs you can order from uh, the link that will be in the video and description. Uh, this is a red one. I replaced it the uh, clear with red and then I sanded the glass to frost it and pointed it in the direction of the uh, windows. Uh, the point of which it was to tell, let you know when you had the um, magnet on. Um, so we're going to go give this thing a kind of a once over and then depending on how I feel today, I've been pretty busy all morning, um, I'll take this thing apart and uh, uh, clean it up. Um, it still has its original magnet that says Cutler Hammer. Uh, the the uh, train still works, and somewhere I have the uh, crank. Um, I think my dad was probably thinking of uh, using this MTH controller uh, to replace the original one. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm not sure of the amperage carrying capacity of this of these wires. There's six um, six wires here. They look very thin, and as you can see, my dad has rewired this thing. Um, the controller is broken. The bakelite has cracked and broke. There's tape all over it. It was taped together. The screws don't are missing and don't hold it together anymore. Um, the switches inside are very uh, cheap. They're just pieces of metal that uh, push together. It does actually still kind of work, uh, but there's some components that are loose and so it kind of doesn't really go move in every direction it's supposed to. Um, I have found some instructions online on how to rewire this using uh, a, uh, a controller that receives power instead of uh, powering it from these connectors here. I'm debating on I'm going to try and use that. I got some round uh, 22 gauge, 6 conductor 
wire in a nice little bundle. I don't know if it... it I measured the amperage. I, I powered this thing up and measured the amperage that it it used and it used up to about three amps but I don't know how much of that is due to it um, being uh, uh, dirty and probably in need of lubrication and whatever I'm not going to use this wire it looks like he used uh, two different sections of uh, ribbon cable, some fork conductor and two conductor. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this stuff. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm get that off to the side. I've already pulled the screws out. Oh, and he also had a uh, MTH replacement magnet. Um, I may test this out and see which one is more powerful, although I may just keep the original on there to be, uh, you know, accurate. We'll see if it works. Um, so I pulled these screws out, and we're just going to take this out and snip these wires. Yeah, we'll do this here. And we're going to move this out of the way. And we're going to look at this thing. Let's see. Let me pull this light bulb out, or the LED out, so it doesn't get damaged. Let's zoom in on this. Bring in my my trusty magnifying light. Some water. So what have we got here? Uh, we have a small, looks like shaded pole motor. Similar to the ones that uh, they use in some of the locomotives. In a smaller locomotive. Um, we have some original wire. Looks like we have a couple of wires that go to this um, field coil. And those seem to be the only ones that go to that. So they are providing power to the motor. And then we have a series of wires that go to uh, two solenoids and a connector here. Uh, this, uh, this thing is, you know, it's, it's, you can tell it's wired to uh, price point, they're trying to do everything with uh, one um, single motor, um, instead of having a second motor to uh, run the, uh, the hook up and down they're just using one and when you hit the solenoid it engages one side or the other. Um, so first thing we're going to do is take some pictures of how this thing was originally done.
and uh, we're going to take it apart. Um, I got myself a can of uh, parts cleaner from Ace Hardware. The old uh, car, car, parts and carb cleaner. Um, I'm going to degrease this. Uh, I'm not going to put the solenoid in, of course, uh, but these other pieces are going to go in the parts cleaner. And then maybe into uh, my. ultrasonic cleaner and let's see here I've never taken one of these apart before I you know when I was a kid I thought this was pretty neat um, it was very noisy and growly uh, Part of that is, has to do with using solenoids to engage. Oh, for God's sakes, I can't stop dropping. I can't wait to see what parts in here are... Uh, what's messed up and what's not messed up. Um, I'm not going to repaint this in any way. I'm going to leave it with whatever paint job it has. I don't know if my dad ever repainted it. I never asked him. Um, to me it looks the way it always did when I was a kid, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, um, so she's all taken apart. Uh, and I've got all the pieces here that I'm going to put in parts cleaner. Um, and I'm just going to do a, a cleanup of her and um, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm not going to take it much further apart and I'm just going to do a, a basic uh, simple cleaning on it. I don't want to I don't want to reinvent the wheel on this thing but I do have to take apart uh, later on I'm going to unbend these tabs, take this plastic piece off, or whatever this is made of. Looks like someone painted it black. Um, clean out who knows how many years of dust. Remove this and uh, uh, replace it with something else or see if I can fix it. I almost swear when I was a kid that I re had to re help him resolder this or I did some of the soldering on this but I don't remember it's a long time anyways that's all for today